Close your eyes and focus on your breath. This is your own breath, so watch it coming in, watch it going out. See how it feels in the body. It's something that we tend to ignore, but actually it has a lot of potential. After all, the breath is the force of life. Without the breath, we wouldn't be here. And the quality of the breath is sure to have an impact on the quality of the health of the body and the quality of the health of the mind. So take some time to look at it and let the breath be comfortable. Let it be at ease coming in, at ease going out. Think of the whole body breathing in, the whole body breathing out. If you can keep your awareness with the whole body like this, it's a lot easier to stay in the present moment. Because the present moment is where all the important things in your life are happening. There are things that have happened in the past, of course, but what's happening right now are the choices you're making right now. You can't change anything that was done in the past, but you can have an influence on what you're going to do right now. So get the mind in good shape so that whatever it does is going to do skillfully, that it's going to do with a sense of responsibility. Because our actions have an impact not only now, but also on into the future. So you want to keep that in mind all the time. Provide the mind with a good, solid place to stay like this, and it's a lot easier to think about what's skillful and what's not skillful. Otherwise, if the mind is hungry for pleasure, all it can think about is its hunger. It goes around looking for this, that, and the other thing to stick in its mouth. Get a little pleasure from sights, some pleasure from sounds, smells, tastes, tactile sensations. But when you actually look at these things, you realize okay, they come in and they just go away. They go away. It's like a mirage or a little bit of dew on the grass in the morning. As soon as the sun comes up, the dew is gone. Okay, the pleasure you got from last week's sight, sound, smells, tastes, tactile sensations, where is that? The pleasure from yesterday's, where is that? That pleasure is gone. All you've got is the pleasure of the memory. And sometimes the memory of sensual pleasure is not all that pleasant. Because you think about the fact that it's gone now. Or you may think about some of the things you had to do in order to get that central pleasure that were not all that honorable. So try to focus on something where the mind will get genuine nourishment, and nourishment from its own goodness. And this is why we practice generosity, why we practice virtue, to get a sense of the well-being and a sense of self-esteem that comes when you are a generous person, when you're a virtuous person, you avoid harming others. And you begin to realize that the pleasure that's exclusive to the mind is a really deep pleasure. And this gets you more inclined to want to look deeper inside in the mind. So try to stay right here, right here with the breath, right here with the breath, each time it comes in, each time it goes out. Give the mind a chance to settle down and get some genuine nourishment here. So that when the time comes when you have to face difficult decisions as to whether to do the skillful thing or the unskillful thing, it's going to be a lot easier to avoid the unskillful side and to work on the skillful side. So strengthen the mind by staying here with the breath. Strengthen the health of the mind, and it turns out that you're also going to be strengthening the health of the body as you do it. And either way, you're in a much better position to, do, to shape your life in the direction you want it to go.